are facing a new form of life. Nobody understands. In 1950s Hollywood, horror movies all but turned their back on the genre's classic gothic creations. Instead of Dracula or Frankenstein's monster came brand new nightmares for the modern atomic age. This was present tense, verging on futuristic terror, often combined with science fiction in true genre splicing glory. World War II's nuclear climax had wrought unprecedented mass destruction and what radiation fallout might do to anyone, or anything, that survived was a terrifying concept. In 1954, Them's irradiated giant ants were a box office smash, and where big studio extravaganzas led, independent movies quickly swarmed. If the increased size of your creature did matter, the small scale of B-movie budgets certainly wasn't going to stop resourceful filmmakers cashing in too. For those working at the really low-cost end of B-movie making, the thinking was clear. Any animal seen as vaguely creepy or dangerous in its normal dimensions could only be even scarier when blown up. No, not that sort of blown up. Pretty soon, anything that swooped, scuttled or slithered was fair game. B-movies employed a variety of innovative visual effects from articulated models, big and small, to enlarged trick photography and miniatures. When all else failed, you could always put a man in a suit, though admittedly, some wore it better than others. And if even that wasn't an option, simply employ man's best friend as your new enemy, the killer shrew. Human mutation was another possibility, the mad or at least misguided scientist speeding up the evolutionary process with a simple injected serum. Or something a little more advanced. I know it's working. Obviously, older stories like Frankenstein or Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde had an influence here, but there's no doubt that these films are mainlining atomic age fears. The burgeoning Cold War race into outer space rocket-launched horror's alien anxieties. And if H.G. Wells's The War of the Worlds got the 50s blockbuster treatment, B-movies didn't need Oscar-winning special effects to put their faith in their own extraterrestrial invasions. The flying saucer, or UFO, became a genre staple, presumably the fact that it's as basic a model kit as you can find, and, with the right lighting and sound effects, can seem very convincing. Of course, that assumes you do have the right lighting and sound effects. Once you get beyond the spaceship, you obviously need to envisage its crew. And rather than come in peace, most B-movie aliens are out for blood, human or otherwise. Makeup and in-camera visual effects here may often be rudimentary, but the canny use of dissolves, blurred images, superimpositions, and simply hiding the creatures in the shadows kept the audience's imagination working overtime. Though sometimes your brain tells you that you just needed the money shot. And if all else failed, perhaps make invisibility Who are you? the real alien talent, which incidentally is also a good trick for living thought projections that steal their victims' brains and spinal cords and eventually become gruesomely visible. Of course, a perk of alien life is that it might well be able to take human form. Derek. The easiest special effect of all. Bill. Men. Even a woman. May I introduce your latest guest, Miss Naya. She comes from Mars. If creature feature roles for women in 1950s B-movies are scarcely complex or progressive, at least these antagonist parts have some agency. Sadly, the majority of female characters in this era mostly just stand by and... It's all too easy to mock the genre and 50s era conventions, the cookie cutter scripts, 
and stiff acting. If only there were more power, Betty! Is there any way to generate more power? We've got to have more! Shaky visual effects and production values. And, of course, the hyperbolic marketing. Yet if many of the individual movies and monsters here haven't become horror icons, Very well. I will recalculate. There's a sense of invention, daring, and sheer fun that runs through the most enduring of these B-movies and have helped to keep them alive longer than anyone might have dared to imagine.